Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. So today guys, I'm gonna be redoing all my gun collection again, all over. All right, cause I got more guns and uh, some upgrades on uh, and updates on the guns. And I wanna show you everything uh, from scratch, from the beginning, again, all of them. All right, so let's start. Uh, let's start with this. So we don't take that at least uh, two hours showing you all these guns. I'm talking a little bit about the guns. All right. So let's start with this one first. It's the FNK, Steel of the Family. Put some, uh, you know, some love in the gun. I have a chrome barrel, chrome barrel, and uh, you know, Steel of the Family. I believe this one is uh, 12 or 14 rounds. Uh, 14 round, 14 round mag. All right, safety first, gun is clear, good to go. All right, so moving on guys. Uh, this one is not mine, it's my wife, but you know, it's technically, I mean, uh, part of the collection. All right, so this is the Taurus G2. Um, it doesn't say C as a compact, but it's a, uh, actually it's a compact, you know, it's not It's not a carry, it's probably a carry uh, size. That's what I think, yeah. So this one, uh, carry 12 rounds all right let's check the gun the gun is clear uh you guys haven't seen my videos my wife asked me to um polish uh her slide and uh fill it with uh blue paint and you know this is how uh everything came out really nice guns have it um uh, this gonna have a lot of uh, safety features you know like the trigger have uh the safety here also comes with a key so you can lock the slide. Uh, so it has an indicator, a round indicator here. So once you load the round, this bar right here comes up indicating that there's a round in the chamber and there's a safety uh, on and off safety here. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I got this gun for her, All right? A lot of safety features, you know, uh, nice, nice gun. I love this gun, you know, I love, uh, Especially the G, the G, uh, the G line, like the G, G2, G3, G4. Uh, yeah, they are like very affordable uh, guns and uh, especially, you know, very reliable, very good guns. All right, so moving on guys, what I have here, oh yeah, I have the, uh, the Taurus G3. All right, so I'll clear the gun, gun is clear. No, like I said, it's gonna have a couple of uh, it's gonna the magazine is gonna have ammunition. You know, I did some fill the letters just on the G3. Nothing to this gun. You know, I uh, already tested. Uh, put uh, you know, a couple of rounds through, and uh, it's a light gun, not a lot of recoil. Especially, I like that. Uh, that spring is soft, really soft. I like this gun, like, it's, it's, it's not a bad gun, it's nice. I like the style, you know, the look of the gun. Really nice, really nice, really nice. You know, have the, the, the corners rounded here. Nice gun. So this one comes with a 15 round mag, and also comes with a 17 round. So this is a 17, and comes with this uh spacer, all right? There you go. That's how it looks like with the uh, 17 round mag. All right, moving on, guys. What I have next? Oh, uh, we go. All right, let's go with uh, the SAR 9. So I have the SAR 9. If you haven't seen my videos about the, the extended uh, plus five from another gun that fits on this one, please uh, subscribe and see my other videos. All right, SAR 9. Very comfortable gun, very nice shooting gun. I mean, uh, I wish there were like more uh, more parts to um, upgrade on this gun. I mean, uh, but still, you know, just like this, I, I like this gun. Um, it's not bad. Gun is clear. Recoil is not bad, you know. I'm like good, probably like good five pounds. Uh, five pounds or six pounds on a trigger. But you know, I got strong triggers. I don't need a uh, light trigger. All right, so moving on guys. Um, what else? 
let's go for yeah let's go for the canics all right so one second what i lost it oh no, right here So I have uh, some specific guns that I use. Uh, a couple, I have a couple of these uh, all-life flashlights, and uh, I have a special selection for some of the guns that you know I trade the the flashlight uh, with those guns. And one of them is a uh, is a Canic, the TP9 SFX. Yeah. There you go. This gun is a really nice gun, you know. I have a um, Vortex Venom, a really nice side tube. I polished this one right here, you know, in aluminum color. Also, I got a, blue, I mean, a purple uh, plus two extended, you know, to make it look like a little bit more modern. I did some uh, stippling. There you go, look at the cross in the back. I did some uh, filling on the letters too. This gun is nice. This one doesn't have uh, rounds right now, but you know, I'm gonna show you the gun is clear. Gun is clear, and you can beat up this trigger. Like I can't say it once, again and again and again. This is a nice trigger. Look at that. Look at that reset. Perfect. There you go. One more look, guys, on the gun. Really nice gun. If you don't have this gun, you need to go out and buy it right now. Especially for the price, it's, it's around 500, I mean 550, 500, $550. I said you can find it out there. Even as low as $500. And $500 for this gun, man, you can't beat that price. It's nice, nice. And it's a nice looking gun too. Full size, 18, I think it's an 18 plus two. Yeah, 18 plus two, 20 rounds. All right, comes with two magazines. It doesn't come with display, but the, the plate is uh, gray. It depends what color you get the gun, but it comes with two magazines with um, the plus two magazine. The, the plus two on the magazine, so 20 rounds. All right, also I have, uh, I bought another magazine, 18 without the extension. You know, just in case I want to use it without, uh, without the extension, you know, if I want to conceal it on my growing area, growing area. Nice gun. All right, moving on, guys. Um, let me take this uh, light off. Just like I say, um, I share that light with all the guns. All right, guys. This is one of the guns that I share that light with. All right, so I have the Ruger 5.7. You know, I wanted to have uh, a 5.7 caliber on my collection. And uh, definitely, you know, I don't know if some of you guys will say uh, that the FN is better, but no, definitely I like this one way more, uh, much more than the uh, FN. And it's not about the price, it's not about I can't buy it or whatever, you know. Everything uh, is possible with a little bit of effort, but this gun is nice, you know, have this, has this nice stylish. You know, have an adjustable uh, sight in the back with the fiber optic uh, green in the front. You know, I put this uh, all light uh, flashlight, 1500 uh, lumens. Nice gun. The gun is loaded, but it's clear. All right, so Ruger 5.7, one more look. Beautiful, beautiful hanging. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing some upgrades. I know a website that changed. Uh, I mean uh, that they had the mag release extended, and uh, also a better uh, slide lock and a uh, plus five extension in aluminum. And uh, they're out of stock right now, but as soon as they come back on stock, I'm gonna be doing that upgrade. I'm not sure about the red dot side. I, I don't need it. I like that sight. So I, I would say this one, at least this one, is not gonna get a, a red dot sight for now. Just extension. All right, moving on guys. Uh, <clears throat> next gun, next gun. 
Uh, why not? All right, let's go for the Beretta APX Combat. Gun is clear. Like I said, it's gonna have uh, ammunition on the magazine. Let's do a trigger pull on this one. Not bad, not bad, really good. Um, so this one, uh, if you guys seen it, it's uh, it was all black in my uh, other videos. You know, I ordered uh, the pistol grid uh, module, easy to change. This is actually a model, a module hanging, just like the P320. You know, a little bit more work, you know, taking uh, the whole trigger assembly in one piece. Everything comes out just like the P320, you know. Um, not that easy like the P320, but you know, it's not that hard neither. Um, so I ordered this one in uh, uh, supposed to be a FDE, but it's a little bit darker. I like it. I like it more than the light one. And uh, I saw I leave the um, the bass track from the other uh, black. So, you know, have the um, difference uh, on colors. You know, I like it like this, not all brown. It looks nice. Um, just comment down below and let me know which one looks better on all black or or like this all right so you have a 17 round magazine from factory uh plus four uh i put some crimson uh trace uh flashlight really nice really good it looks really nice too man this thing this thing cost me like 60 something dollars man you can beat that price man you know i'm a hustler i look the prices all around the website i'm not rich so I do my homework, you know, I do my homework and uh, extend my dollar. So I did some filling on the letters. There you go. I have some uh, Holocene uh, 507 with the, uh, let me see if I can get it in the, there you go. With the circle and the dot in the center, you know. And uh, I'm trying to find the, the co-witness uh, size for this gun. And it's kind of like impossible every time I look. I cannot find it anywhere. And uh, those guys that make uh, sights for pistols, they haven't done anything for this gun. Shame on them. It's a nice, 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 nice gun. I love this gun. Yep. All right, guys, moving on. Moving on. So, next one. Let me see. So, let's go for this one. Alright, so the next gun is gonna be the P229, the six hour P229. Uh, this is a DAC uh, edition. Um, it was all black. I did the same thing, you know, chrome the slide and uh, put some new sights. I like these sights. Let's check the gun. Yeah, ammunition. This is a 357 six uh, round. So everything has been polished, including the barrel, everything, all the components inside. So this thing is like water, like water. So one of the things I like this side is because you can rack it from the, from the side. You don't, you don't need to get actually in the slide and grab it, just pull like this, all right? <clears throat> so I have a, I think this one holds uh, with the extended magazine, can't remember right now, but I think holds 18 rounds. You know, I put some hog uh, aluminum uh, grips, uh, kind of like expensive, around hundred something dollars for uh, the grips. I put the six hour uh, with the actual SIG, I don't know if you guys can see it, the actual SIG uh, on, the, on the screw, the bolt. I ordered some, uh, some grips, the ones that you can cut yourself on a uh, clear, make clear and I cut it myself, you know, just to protect the aluminum and have more grip. I put a sand uh, grip in the front too, to have more grip in the gun while I'm shooting. You know, very comfortable gun, you know, a little heavy, but actually you feel like this is like, like you, you holding a real gun, you know? Not saying that the other ones are not real, but like this one feels like the real, the real stuff. All right, so 357. Uh, I was gonna change it for, you know, you can change your, uh, the barrel, the magazine, still the same, and you can change it for a 40 Smith and Wesson, but no. 
I like that one. That's a unique round. I'm gonna keep it that way, 357. All right, so there you go. out really good not even one scratch so moving on guys uh let's move to the other one you know some of the flashlight like i said i uh, exchanged it with sun guns and I, want, I would like to show the the complete set you know with the flashlight and everything so next gun is gonna be my sick p320 uh, chambered in 40 Smith and Wesson. Here you go, guys. These, uh, I round all these, uh, uh, it was like, uh, very deep corners here. I round everything, sand it, and polish it till the crown color came out. Came. All right. I also have the same size that I have on the, uh, P229. And I changed uh, the grip module. Uh, I put an extended uh, five. This one holds five with extension. So I have what? 14, 14, uh, 40 Smith and Wesson plus five. That's 19 rounds, 19 rounds. All right. I put the, the same uh, kind of like same gray, grayish uh, color of the uh, extended uh, magazine on the old light with the laser and the light really nice light you know small light I like it like I said I changed this one uh, with all the guns that I use it to you know I cut the trigger to make it thinner and you know polish it too and there you go guys let's see if I can get it in camera uh, no. Say hello to my little friend. Bam. All right. Really nice gun. Um, I did check this one, right? Well, I'm not sure, but you know, whatever. I did check these guns before the video, but to make you guys happy. Well, there you go. And I have some uh, rip rounds. Um, sometimes when I go to the range, you know, I switch it with this one. I did some stippling on this one. Have better grip, better shooting on the wrench. And uh, if I wanna go shorter, I just switch out the uh, this one, FDE with the hog uh, grip. There you go, one more look. Six hour P320 carry size. Boom. All right, guys, moving on. So my next gun, yeah. Next gun is gonna be my Kimber, Kimber 1911. Let's go straight to the uh, check. There's no ammunition on the, not even in the in the magazine. Took it to a range, uh, what, Sunday? Yeah, so I switched out the, um, the defensive, uh, on the fence ammunition, uh, to FNG, I haven't uh, put the the other defense defense uh, ammunition back in the in the magazine. All right, so I have extended uh, Wilson Combat uh, 10 round magazine. This one chamber it in 45 ACP. Um, also have some uh, Wilson Combat uh, grips. I really recommend these grips. They're really nice. So this one is the Kimber Lightweight LW Lightweight because the lower is made of aluminum. All right, man, this thing is lighter than a real, <laughs> well, not a real 1911, but it's lighter than a whole steel uh, 1911. All right, so this gun has been taken to the range, tested with auto, 45 auto, 45 ACP, and different brands, even cheap ones. And uh, when I put, when I put rounds through this gun, I really, you know, I do like really fast fire shooting. You know, I want to test this gun if I want to, you know, rely on this gun. And no problems at all, not even once, not even one hiccup on this gun. I like it, I love it, you know what I mean? 
I did some fills on the letters too. You know, I put some Magwell, Magwell, and uh, that's about it. You know, I was on a fiber uh, optic uh, side in the front, orange. I think comes with uh, the green one too that you can change it. I gotta check on my box, not sure. But you know, really nice gun, really nice gun. I put a 14, 14 pounds on spring. Man, this, look at that, look. look. What are the 14 pounds round? I mean, a 14 pounds uh, recoil spring. Um, really nice. Uh, also, I ordered a compensator. The ones that got the, the really nice compensator. So, once I get it in the mail, I'm gonna put it on and take it back to the ranch and test it. But also, it's gonna look super nice too with the standard magazine on the compensator. Yep. All right, guys. Moving on. Which one I'm going to show you guys next? So yeah, hell yeah, let's go to this one. So I have my uh, FN uh, mid-size uh, nine millimeters with a burst uh, fast fire um, red dot side with code witness, they're all black. I paint this one a little bit green so I can, uh, you know, co witness that side really good. Um, <sighs> really nice gun. Um, I like it because it's compact. You know what I mean? I can put the the regular 15 round uh, magazine that comes with it. All right, so let me, uh, I always forget, clear. Um, the regular 15 round, there you go. Very compact, you know, very considerable gun. Also, I put, uh, if you haven't seen my videos about this uh, magazine on the uh, Plus 5 extension, make sure you subscribe. All right, so I have 15 plus five, 20 rounds, you know, from Strike Industries, really nice. You know, check out my videos, uh, show you how to do it and uh, what to order to. Uh, and uh, this one is the 24 rounds. Man, I like this one, looks badass. Also, I use uh, this light, hell yeah, I use this light on this one. Look at that, love it looks nice really nice you know there you go this one feeling on the letters too on light gray twenty four rounds man man I like it because it's almost like parallel with uh the grip you know you can actually put the hand lower here and wrap it around however however you want you know really really nice nice you know with that upgrade, um, I wanna, I wanna, I need to order the APA, Apex uh, Striker. Yeah, I will do that and uh, that's it. No need to change the trigger, just the Apex uh, Striker, you know, just to be in the safe side, safe side, and uh, that's it. I'm done with this guy. All right, guys, uh, moving on. What do I have next? Man, I jumped this one. This one's supposed to be after Mechanic uh, TP9 SFX. So here I have a uh, Mechanic TP9 Silk Compact. So what I have is uh, uh, a six hour Romeo Zero. Go witness with the size that comes with it. They're not nice, nice sides, but um, you know, really nice. Go witness size. Go witness really good. I have the red dot side. Uh, oh, maybe, there you go, right there. Um, this one had the indicator too in the back. From the, uh, I don't know if it's the gun, when the gun is charged, probably yeah, when the gun is just charged. Yeah, when the gun is charged, you know, not, not a round indicator in the chamber. Same thing, you know, you should check if you see that indicator. Even if you don't see that indicator, you should check, you know. So the gun is clear. I ordered this from, uh, what is it? Freelance, something like that. Yeah, I don't remember. Really nice uh, touch on the gun. You know, the back strap is uh, made, made of aluminum. I kinda like, I don't like that red too much. I should get the, the gray, you know, but you know, it's already here, you know nice you know has some uh, nice texture in the back too you know more grip 
and this is kind of like a magwell too so look how fast you can recharge the gun with this uh little magwell here little ramp you know all you have to do is bam you just hit that ramp right there once you hit that ramp massing goes uh in the gun so this uh this gun comes with a 15 round and this one's empty and the 12 round with the 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 pinky extension and also you can change the plate too comes with the plate that is flush with without the uh pinky station extension all right um i put an o light with a flashlight and uh on the laser really nice really nice considerable gun you know um man the trigger on this thing look at the trigger just like any mechanic man i love it nice all right one more look on the gun i did some fitting on the ladders too beautiful gun all right moving on guys uh i have all that all right let's go for this one so next Next gun is gonna be my Glock 19. Glock 19. You know, I have some tire uh, design, uh, magazine extend, I mean, extended uh, release. I have some uh, slide lock from uh, tire designs too. You know, same flashlight that I trade with the other guns too. Um, what else? I changed the back plate. You guys can see the tire design in gray. I have the gray side, green dot side from uh, Holosun. Co witness, there you go. The sides. Um, what else? Yeah, I have a, um, a 15 round plus five from uh, Strike Industries. Really nice. Yeah. I know the gun is clear. Just make sure the gun is clear. Uh, also, I have uh, the regular 15 round. Plus, this one's plus three from Hive. So I like it because it's flush with the handle too. You know, you can actually have more grip with this one. Uh, or the regular 15 round, which is not this one. <laughs> there you go. The regular 15 round, you know, to conceal it. And then you can put the other magazines in your pocket or in your bag, whatever you carry. And then I have this uh, little uh, spacer for the 17 round for from uh, the Glock 17. There you go. You can use those two, or you can use the 33 round, uh, the 33 round mag. Bam! This one, this is actually my home defense gun. I right, with my bullpup shotgun, shotgun, and my. Uh, I keep it, um, the shotgun next to my uh, best stand, and uh, this one actually under my pillow. All right, if I hear any noise, I got the laser, because I, I know I'm gonna be waking up all disoriented, so I just pull the, lace, the light with the laser, and with the laser point, that's where the bullet goes. All right, guys, so moving on. What I have next? Next I have, Let's do this one. Where is it? There you go. So I have my Glock 17. So I changed a couple of parts, uh, not too much. I put a strike industry, a standard mag, I mean a magazine release. Uh, fill the letters, I put the Glock uh, plate in the back. I put a mag well, a plus five, plus 17, 22 rounds. And you know, the all light with the laser. Uh, there you go. Really good, really nice. Nice looking gun. I love this gun, very reliable. Also I put, um, this one came without the, uh, with the regular white sides. So I put some true glow and green. Man, this, those sides are bright, very bright in the night. 
All right, like I say, uh, this one is plus, plus five. You know, you can put a regular uh, 17 round magazine, which is gonna be flush with uh, the magwell. And also you can put the 33 round too. There you go. Your choice or my choice to have this one under the bed. Don't matter. Bam. All right, moving on guys. Uh, what do I have next to, for you guys? Man, it looks like I'm not ready. Well, if I'm missing something, then I will go back. All right, so I went through these ones already. All right, let's go for, oh yeah. How am I missing this one? Yeah, there you go. That's my um, IWI Masara. I just ordered this plus five. So it's a 17 round plus five from a, uh, Taylor, Taylor Freelance, something like that. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm messing it up. Well, still, so the gun is, uh, the magazine is loaded, but the gun is not. All right. Uh, also, I use, on this one, I can use several flashlights on this one, but on this one, uh, I can use this small, uh, small O-light, you know, more compact. Or I can use the one that I use on the FN. Which is this one here. I think this one looks more badass. But if I want more compact, I use the other one. All right, so I have the uh, Bears uh, Fast Fire 3, Red Dot Side. And uh, I have, also I have uh, Regular, let me see if I find it first. Oh, that's the Beretta. That's the FN. And this is it? No. I don't know where it is right now. But I do have it somewhere. The regular uh, 17 round mag. All right, really nice gun. One more look. I like it with the, with the sanction. It looks badass. There you go. Man, I don't yeah. And what this gun costs, around $400. I love this gun, like the, the cut in the front. It's a beautiful, beautiful firearm and very reliable too, from IWI, you know? A very known uh, brand or gun makers, all right? So moving on, it's a little hot here. You can tell the summer is here already. Uh, went through this one already. So yeah, let's check this one out. So this one is my, uh, I don't know if I make a video of this one already, but this one is my CC75 SP01, all right? So this one is uh, is the safety, not the decoder, decoder one, or the tactical, however you guys want to call it. Uh, this one came with the uh, the rubber grips. I did the upgrade for the aluminum. Have the um, you know the CC engraved. Really nice, really nice, really nice. Let's check this gun. All right, gun is clear. Man, one thing I gotta say, when I got this, uh, well, I don't like to do dry fire without the uh, the snack caps, but you know, it's not gonna hurt to do it now, still. All right, so dry fire, plug it. Not bad. So I put a, um, a reduced weight uh, spring. I put a 12, uh, 12 pound uh, Rico spring and the uh, stainless steel uh, guy rod. All right, uh, this one comes with nine sides, so it's ready to go. This gun is ready to go. I took I took it to the wrench already, and uh, with the laser, with this laser, man, this thing was accurate, like really, really, really on point, really accurate. I mean, uh, 
if you if you don't have a CC, I will recommend you right now to go buy one. Once you go, once you start buying these guns, I think you forget about everything else because these guns are really, 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 really nice. All right, look at the shape of that gun. The style, you know, the slide that runs inside the, the lower for more, uh, so the gun can be more precise. There's no movements on parts. This this gun don't have any rattling, you know? Nothing, nothing. This gun is tight, really tight. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I have the uh, 17 plus two. That's a 19 rounds, really nice. There you go. All right, moving on, guys. Uh, this one, I don't have any light. I like it like this. I mean, I don't use it for home defense, just for shooting. But this is the Shadow, um, CC Shadow 2, uh, an urban gray. Um, the only thing I did on this one is put a, uh, an 11, uh, 11 pound uh, recoil spring and uh, plus two in uh, aluminum color. Nice, I love it. Uh, kind of like mash with the gun. All right, so let's do a pull test on this. This slice, man, this, look at this. This is, this is butter. Nice, really nice. All right, this one is empty. Um, it's a little heavy, just like an, a full metal uh, 1911, you know what I mean? And uh, full size, but look at this gun. It's so pretty, man. When I saw it, I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. Same thing, had the aluminum grips. You gotta love this gun. Yes, sir. So, moving on. So, I think that's it with the hangings, except for one more. All right, so I have one more to show you guys, and that's a new, um, it's a new gun to the to the collection. All right, which one, where is it? Is the CCP10F optic ready? The only thing that I a little pissed off of when I bought this gun is because it doesn't come with the plates. You have to buy it separately. I mean, come on, man. Most of the guns comes with all those plates, except for the Ruger. All right, so ACC, man. That's that's one one point down for you guys. But I mean, still the gun is nice. Um, it comes with blackout real sights and uh, nice sights in the front. Um, the magazine without extension holds 19 rounds, 19 rounds. This is a full size. You know, I have the old light with the laser too. Really nice gun. I haven't shot it yet. I bought it yesterday. All right, like I said, the gun is full and there's no round. And look at that recoil. I mean, uh, that slide pull, so light. Not like my 75 uh, SP-01. That thing, like, was really, really bad to pull the slide, so I had to change that spring. That spring was killing me. And uh, the thing about it is that it's not a lot of space to pull. You know what I mean? But with... um. With that little toe side, you can actually grab it here and uh, pull it really easy, right? But with all the recoil spring, man, that thing was hard, like really hard. You know what I mean? Um, yep. So that's all I have for my pistols, I think. So let's move to the older pistols. All right. So here I have my. Uh, my Air 15, uh, 556223. Um, this one's a personal build. Um, so I have a six hour Romeo 5. Uh, I think, don't remember if it's a eight inches or seven and a half inches uh, barrel. 
Um, so I have the emboss uh, from my pool in the front that go with it. With the, so if I put it in the center of the circle, that's uh, this one co witness with this one, All right? It's not gonna be perfect, but it will hit you. Um, I order uh, SB, the SB um, brace, uh, the four, number four, SB A4, I think. Um, but it's not here yet, it's in back order. I guess with this thing about, you know, ATF wanted to buy the, the braces, um, everything, you know, kind of like it's in back order right now. I guess nobody want to invest on that or, um, I don't know what's going on with those guys, man. Those guys are like ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's annoying, annoying. It's annoying and ridiculous. Man, I don't have words to describe. Um, this guy should be, you know, smart people, professionals, you know what I mean? People that know what they're doing, you know what I mean? And, and they worry about a piece of plastic, you know what I mean? For, for, for the citizens that are doing the right thing. Just because like three guys did the wrong things and they say there are like three million of this in the streets that we bought. No, man, there's like 40 million of this uh, of those braces out there so you telling me they approve that stuff you know what i mean and uh let people buy it and then they're gonna freaking uh ban it man that's a model boy you know um they want to they want to decide what people can have and what people cannot have to the point that you know you can do that you can regulate some stuff but i mean that is ridiculous man i mean i don't even want to talk about that because that is super ridiculous i mean uh make me mad and at the same time like who who they have over there making these decisions you know what i mean i mean uh but whatever you know i'm gonna once i get my uh brace i'm gonna put it on adjustable and you know i'm gonna use that so um you know i got some uh i know that's uh gold uh, I have some titanium uh, gold, you know, from Strike Industries gold. I have a, uh, this is a zero fail uh, bolt with uh, a JP, uh, kind of like a piston spring inside, very quiet. That's the bolt, but nothing on inside the tube. Not that uh, scratchy sound anymore. So, um, well, this is the match of the gun, but I mean, actually I use any, any other magazines that I have, metal magazines, aluminum magazines and drums too, but this is kind of like the match of this, uh, this gun. So this one's a 40 plus six, 46 round, uh, magazine that works very good on this gun. There you go. Also, um, I use the map pool, um, uh, what is it, 50 or? Man, I'm getting old. Can't remember. Uh, 50 or 60, whatever. You guys correct correct me. I right, uh drum magazine for Macpo. Really cool, you know. Small gun, very compact with a lot of rounds. You know how it is. There you go. All right, guys. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, 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 uh. Where's my other pistol? Uh, this one I'm gonna be doing some work. It's gonna have a foldable uh pre-ran <laughs> stock. <laughs> Adjustable stock, you know, I put some aluminum tape here just to avoid the rattling that you know I think was but a good idea. You know, um so I made this one from from an AR uh foldable stock. Cut it down here, you know, and shape it for this gun. Uh, so I have a Strike Industries uh, grip, mag pull, mag pull. Uh, I think this one is a Fab Defense with a Crimson Tracer flashlight with a, there you go. Very good. So this gun is actually loaded with home defense ammunition, but nothing in the chamber. Man, that thing is soft. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna have a charmer. And uh, also I put a, a red dot sign on top. That is working really, really good. All right, I co-witnessed the iron sights from under the red dot sight. There you go. And that's my uh, AK-47 pistol. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, what the hell, that's a pistol? It is a pistol, all right? If you guys can see, there's no uh, adapter in the back for a boss tuck. So I had to get this uh, this piece right here to attach it to um, from on the grip and uh, on the case of the gun. There you go. This thing is nice, very reliable. No malfunctions at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing some TLC on this one. Uh, you know, probably send it to the shop, sand it first to the metal and then send it to the shop to do some uh, customized uh, Cerakote. But really nice shipping. Moving on guys. Oh, moving on guys. Man, this thing is on, this video is almost an hour already. All right, so I have uh, my CC Scorpion. Like I say, um, some of these uh, flashlights are shared for with all the guns. Uh, Really good. I mean, uh, I like this uh, setup. Well, I'm gonna rush showing you guys, but this actually cable runs under here perfectly. All right, there you go. CC Scorpion. I have the Spark uh, 2 from Vortex that co witness perfectly with the uh, CC sights. I have a pressure switch on this side. You know, or I can always use this right here. Um, this one was for my uh, bullpup, uh, but I like it. It's, it's thick, and uh, it kind of like fit, fits perfect on my hand for for this gun. And I have a uh, 30 round magazine. I change the spring for a lower trigger pull. I have a uh, apex uh, grip with a hog uh, rubber grip over. Uh, the SB brace foldable, you know, for more compact and conceal. Okay, it's a pistol, you can conceal it. All right, I don't want to put uh, make it an SBR because then it's not a pistol anymore. That means I cannot conceal it. There you go, that's a pressure switch from uh, uh, Olight 2. Really nice, guns with a mount, you can take it off, man, you know. I put some uh, sandpaper in the front so I can put my finger and shoot. There you go. Nice shooting gun, nice small gun, nine millimeters. You know, man. Uh, so this is my Ford uh, CC with the other three uh, CC pistols. Another pistol. All right. Uh, moving on, guys. Let me show you guys my uh, other AR. My 556, uh, 556 to do three. Let's check it out. They're loaded, both. Uh, nothing fancy on this gun, but for some reason, it's very accurate. I don't know if it's uh, the ACOG, the ACOG M4 in the top. There you go, have the item size in the top. This one I painted. So you might, you guys might be like, no, that's a clone. That's not a clone. I did the customer customized uh, paint job on the uh, on the site. All right, um, I haven't put too much money, you know, on this gun. I like the uh, the boss stock. This is a uh, Roger Super Stock. I like it. It's light, you know. Um, it doesn't have too much rubber in the back, and I don't need it because it doesn't have a lot of recoil. So this gun doesn't have a lot, a lot of recoil. So you guys can see it adjustable, and then it locks there for no rattling all right even if you're in combat stress situation this, this thing is not gonna move all right so i have um mac pool uh two mac pool 30 rounds uh mac pool in the front uh short fire here not fancy but you know it works to do the job i have a cookie cutter in the front that thing's reduce the recoil and uh i have a custom paint uh this one's a burnt, burnt bronze 
Um, the lower, the other lower that I, had, that I had here, it was um, St. Carter, you know, but I changed it. So I now I have to um, get the same color or just leave it like that, you know, it doesn't really matter. There you go. So five, five, six, two, two, three. That's my AR. Very accurate. Hold on. Uh, all right. So my 300 blackout with strike, uh, strike eagle sight. There you go. You got a strike uh, industries uh, muscle brake in the front. I think it's nice. You know, I have several 30 rounds magazines in uh, in there. Also, I have a 40 round magazine. But you know, I can even use the 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 Macbo too. I, all I have to do is change the the ammunition for 300 from 556 to uh, 300 blackout. So also this one is a spy tactical. There you go. I have some. Uh, Macbo uh, furniture, very nice. Strike Industries, uh, I mean, a uh, Vortex. Vortex Bannon. I don't know if I can get that on the page. I don't think it's gonna work, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Let me turn it off. For some reason, I always leave it on, and the battery goes down really fast. All right, so didn't do the check, but like I said, all of them are empty. All right, there you go. I have a nickel bar on uh, bolt two on this one. You know, do some this one uh, customization, little extended. You know, this one comes with the fact from the factory. And some map pool here in the front. Really good, really nice rifle. I love it, very accurate, 300 blackout. You know, kind of like powerful. I know it doesn't shoot two, but I mean, 100 meters is fine. 100 meters is fine. It's already tested on 400, 400 meters and it's fine. So moving on, what do I have next? So all I have next is the shotguns. So let's go for it. All right, so let's start with this one. I had a red side on this one. I have to order another one, you know, but still, you know, this is a chug and it don't matter, you know, double or box shots, whatever you point, it's going down. All right, so this one is uh, 18 and three quarters. It's been cut for 18 and three quarter uh, inches barrel. Um, it's been painted on tungsten uh, stay gray. And uh, I put a, a mock pool grip here. You know, I changed the furniture and I have a short fire flashlight. I just a little box tuck. This is a, this is a build like a Tonka. It's all metal, not like the Mossberg that is made of aluminum, you know. It's nice, 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 nice chugging. It's a pump chugging, so it's not gonna fail me. All right, moving on. Uh, next, next, I have my Benelli Supernova Tactical. Uh, I put a limb saver in the back. The last time I shot some, uh, I some uh, slugs and destroyed my three inch slugs. <laughs> destroy my uh, my shoulder. All right, and uh, yeah, I have one slug here, and all of them are uh, double or box shots. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys that it's empty because it's not. All right, have um, had the mini shells, the the box shot mini shells. It's loaded with box of mini shells, and uh, actually I can fit 11 of those on this one. Really good. I mean, uh, it's been tested, and it fires really good. All right, so, Benelli Supernova Tactical. Really nice. Has some ghost ring sights. No need for, I was gonna put a red dot sight since this one, 
Uh, you can order the Picatinny rail for the top, but no need, no need. That side is beautiful, really good. So there you go, Benelli Supernova Tactical. I want to get the five position uh, Buster for that gun, but it's it's out of stock everywhere or. If somebody sell it, it's asking for one eye, one eye over your face. So next, moving on, <clears throat> I have my baby 12 uh, bullpup shotgun. Man, I have a lot of problems with this shotgun in the past, but I'm gonna put a video of this of this shotgun at the end of this video. So you guys can see it. I took it to the ranch, man. I put so much rounds, fast firing. I mean, uh, I was shooting this like really fast, and no hiccups, nothing. This gun is super nice. Look, look how this thing wraps. Like it's so soft. Wow. Oh, oh. There you go. I almost messed up. Gotta move the freaking. Uh, there you go. Really, really, really soft. With this new bolt, the upgrade that they sent me, when the other one break, this thing is soft, really soft. All right, so this thing is loaded with uh, box shots, 10 round magazines. I also have uh, the drum. The drum somewhere here. There you go. This thing's heavy. So 20 rounds of uh, Whatever I put in there, I think I put uh, slug, one slug, one double lock, one slug, one double lock, one slug. So, there you go. Boom. All right, so I have a red dot sight, and I have some uh, Macpo emboss to go witness with uh, the red dot sight. I have a string light flashlight in here, AC to touch with the grip. There you go. Let me take this thing, man. This thing is heavy. With this, this drum, it's heavy. All right, so I put a lean saver in the back. I know it doesn't look that nice, but it's very comfortable. It's still pushing you back, but you don't feel that like a bat is hitting your shoulder. All right, so I put some FDE, you know, to make the difference on the gun. You know, FDE, um, mag pull. Grip my pole with a little angle it down, you know, and the emboss uh, sights. Really nice. And I go win this perfectly with uh, the sight picture in the red dot sight. Yep, like definitely this gun, this one, and the one that I'm about to show you guys. Um, either or, whatever I feel like. It's coming with me uh, during the night. Sleep next to me, all right? So moving on, guys. Oh, a little tired, man. I'm not editing this video. I'm going straight up. There you go. I'm gonna save me all that job. It is what it is. Let's keep it real, all right? So here I have my SDS links. This is a Saiga um, replica, but actually it's made, it's been made better than the Saiga, right? You guys can notice, um, I all I bought this gun from new, none of this stuff, the bus stock, the grip, mags, none of this stuff, the quad rail in the front, um, none of this stuff was in the gun. Actually, I took my time and took the bolt out and polished everything, everything, all the imperfections. I made a little ramp inside so the ramp don't get stuck in there and goes like sweet like butter inside the, the chamber. Um, I'm gonna be doing a separate video on this one and I'm gonna show you guys the shooting on this gun. Perfect, that's that's the only war, words that I have to describe the, the shooting on this gun. Um, not gonna lie because I mean, I wanna keep it real if I had a couple of my functions, I would say, you know, that's normal in this type of shotguns, but not a single one 
So I'm gonna put all the, on my other video, I'm gonna put all the shootings, one next to the other one, like real fast so you can see it, and uh, not even a hiccup, you know? Man, this thing fire up like a freaking AK-47. Just like the AK-47 more, but more powerful. I mean, you're gonna see my shoulder like almost coming out of my body when I'm shooting this thing, but um, I also ordered, ordered uh, um, the thicker Macpool uh, rubber for this one, because this rubber, it's like plastic so I'm gonna be changing that um, so I put this quad rail you know I have the older one too so it comes with uh, this one and the long one, the long one that goes all the way to the back and uh, also I put some uh, flip of sides you know but it was too much shit man so what I did is I put the shorter one with the red dot side that I have in my other shotgun now I gotta buy another one this one this 83 uh, sights hold up really good like the whole zero um really good when i had it in the, my other shotgun i shot plenty of rounds to the other shotgun and name never came out of sight um so with these rails you can look down here because it's a little elevated and it's a channel in there that you can see the b the b shape on uh, side go witness with the dot in the front let me see if i can get it for you for you guys there you go you guys can see the side so it caught witness on there so there's no need to get a bunch of other attachment that you know you don't need it and it looks cleaner it looks cleaner without uh that rail all the way to the back and uh it's, it's doing the job right now like really good the only thing i'm gonna put is, is a muscle breaker uh in the front and that's it so I got these clear magazines from uh, SDS that I order. Um, they say 10 rounds, but actually fit 11 rounds. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't had problems. So when you see my videos, I shot this magazine, the other magazine, and uh, no problem with none of them, all right? And I got this map pool, uh, it's new, so there you go. I got this map for uh, adjustable, I mean, uh, foldable and uh, adjustable, uh, yeah, this thing. Adjust, damn, it's changing stuff, stuff. You know, adjustable uh, bus stock. But it's a lot of difference. I say, I said it and I did it. If she deserve it, in my first video, when, when I did my first video about this gun, if she deserve it, she's gonna get it. You know, I got some mock pool furniture, clear magazine, you can see all the rounds, quad rail with Picatinny rails. All I'm waiting right now is for the muscle break. And I do have the rod, red dot side, got witness under the rail with uh, the atom side from the gun. Polish the, um, the bolt. Man, <laughs> I love this thing, man. I, ne I never, I never thought that I was gonna love so much a Chinese uh, made in China. No, no offense, you know, no offense, but made in China um, gun. This thing is nice, really nice, really nice. All right. I know I'm putting my finger in the trigger, but I'm simulating my shooting. Well, anyway, there you go. What I love from this gun too, you can drag it. And there's a button here that locks the um, the bolt. But don't even touch this because it's gonna come to the front anyways. And that's what happened with my finger when I was uh, polishing the rim. Yep. Nice, beautiful, you know what I mean? Um, when I get my AK customized paint paint job, I'm gonna do it with this one too. Cause you know, this one, the, the, paint, the paint on this gun, on this uh, shotgun is a little cheap, so. Heck yeah, I gotta be putting some uh, good paint on the shotgun and hopefully I'm not missing anything else. Yep, that's all I have guys. Um, like I say, uh, let me double check. Yep, so like I say guys, um, comment down below. I know it's a little bit long video, um, actually, probably very long video i know that i know you guys are gonna be commenting that 
hey, you want to watch it, don't watch it, or whatever, all right? But I hope you guys like my video. I talk a little bit about the guns because I don't like to be like, oh, yeah, Glock 17. You know what I mean? I like to, you know, talk about a little bit about all the upgrades, how they look, you know, show you guys everything. You know, some of you guys, you know, I mean, are about to hit that bottom, you know what I mean? I made the purchase, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I want you guys, I want you guys can see, I want you guys see it, how um, these parts actually look on the on the hanging, it's like the lights, you know? I got a couple of old lights that I switched. It's, there's no need to buy an, an each gun, handgun, uh, an old light. So all you have to do is take it here on the quick release, take it off, adjust it back and forward. And there you go, put it on the other gun. Really easy, you know, it doesn't, it's not a sign. Boom, there you go. So I wanna show you guys, you know, um, and be humble with you guys, show you guys how are my upgrades, you know what I mean, you guys, have an idea like mine to do something, you know, so you guys can actually see how it looks in the gun, right? Also, I want to, you know, like these things right here, you know, I, I, I was trying to find these uh, extensions for this gun, only I saw the uh, colorways uh, precision, I think, and it's a plus three max, and I want a plus five. So, you know, I start doing my homework and look, I got it. Alright, I got it. I got the um I got the FM, FM uh 509 uh, there you go. With a CC extension, you know, fit it like perfect in there. Man, that shit man, that thing is like on point. You know what I mean? And I wanna show you guys, I mean I wanna share it with you guys, you know, all that little things, you know. I mean I know it's not like all the people that have a lot of money, you know, and buy a $10,000 pesto or whatever, you know, I want to keep it humble, you know, I buy my things, you know, with a little bit of effort. And when I do my upgrades, I want to share with you guys. And I hope you guys like this video and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Look through my videos, you know, I have a, a couple of videos and uh, a little bit of information about, you know, the trouble that I have for uh, the BP-12. Uh, the upgrades that I did for my Glock uh, 19, you know, um, just look down, subscribe, comment, like the video, um, but please um, keep your, your comments, you know, good. Don't be like uh, comment that it, commenting that it's stuff in there, you know, nobody likes that. You know, that's, that's not what I want, uh, you know, for you guys. So, um, simple, you know, you don't like the video or you feel like you want to comment, comment something bad, you know, just click forward, watch another video, all right? But I hope you guys like it. I do this for you guys. You guys uh, uh, are my subscribers, you know, and uh, that's why I do this. I do this because I like guns. I love guns. I, actually, this is my hobby number one, all right? And, uh, also more than my hobby is this is this is my this is my 911 here all right all right some people are gonna call 911 you know so the forensics can show up and count the the bodies but thanks to um thanks to God I had this weapon right here to defend my defend my family. I, I don't I don't want to kill anybody. That's not my uh, mentality. I'm not praying for somebody so some thief to cross the door so I can shoot it. No way. All right. This is a sport. This is what I use um, because I like them. You know what I mean? Like some people like cars. Some women like jewelry. You know, and all the guys like Pokemon's uh, cards or or Star Wars collections, this is my hobby. You know what I mean? If you're watching this video, it's because you like guns too, all right? And uh, it becomes an addiction. <laughs> it becomes an addiction too. Um, but still, first then, my hobby is how I protect my family. And you know what I mean? I don't wanna be one of those guys 
when they break in the house, kick the door, and you have to run to your room and pray, and pray for your life. But guess what, man? I gotta say, if somebody, if I didn't have this, and somebody closed the door, with a gun, all I have is this. And believe me, I go, I, I'm going to take this, you know, because I will defend, defend my family with whatever I had in my hand. If this is what I have, this is what they're gonna get. But why? You got the option to defend your family, you know what I mean? With this, this tool that is made to defend your family, huh? So you can be safe, all right? You don't have to run run to your room, lock down your room with your daughters, your sons, your babies, your wives care, you know what I mean? Just waiting for the worst because you know they come in arm to take what is yours, you know? And probably some do some dirty stuff and nasty stuff and probably take your life and your loved one's life, you know what I mean? And, 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 and they're, these people are evil, you know what I mean? They are evil, and they're gonna make you watch before they take your life, your life at, at, as the last one. All right. So be humble. You know what I mean. Since since I'm into the guns, you know I'm more. When I see a problem, you know what I mean. I stay out. You know, and uh, it keeps me more in line. You know what I mean? Because this is not, oh, I have a gun, now I can, you know, shoot whoever is coming towards me. No, this, when you pull this, is to use it. You know what I mean? If you pull this out of your waist, it's because it's the moment that you need to use it. All right? So, be humble, stay safe out there. I wish you guys the best. Keep buying guns, no matter what they say. You know what I mean? Um, this is all right as Americans, and we fought for this, you know, for this liberty, all right, to have this. You know what I mean? I fought for this, you know what I mean? I fought for this so you guys can have it, all right? So be safe, and don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.